Welcome Cryptopians to Total Crypto Updates, bringing you another video for real deep dives into the crypto industry. I can't promise to only speak about crypto, but I can promise everything will be overstood. Let's dive into today's very dense crypto update. Hedera's official account tweeted on October 22 that native H bar staking would commence. Rewards for eligible staked accounts are distributed daily. After September, Hedera's TVL soared. Hedera's TVL increased by 0.03% between the 20th and the 21st of October, reaching 17.17 million. Since October 14th, HBAR's volume has dropped. On October 21st, its volume fell from 151.2 million to 32.57 million. Its market cap fell over the same period. Hedera Network collaborated despite HBAR's falling volume and market cap. LG Electronics will use the Hedera network for its NFT marketplace, Hedera announced. Now on to, Nick Bogalis, Ripple's Director of Engineering, announced his departure on Friday, October 21st. Bogalis, who has worked on XRPL for 10 years, tweeted. My decade-long journey at at Ripple has been a fantastic, if exhausting and all-consuming, one. I got to work on a project that I love, towards a goal I believe in. But that journey will be coming to an end in a few weeks. I am grateful to have had the opportunity to work alongside and learn from at Joel Katz, Arthur Brito, my teammates on the C++ team, past and present, and so many others at Ripple. The camaraderie and esprit de corps of the C++ team is what I'll miss the most. And what of the hashtag XRPL? Its long-term health and success isn't predicated on any one person. I'm confident that it will be just fine, thanks to talented and passionate individuals who contribute and participate, each in their own way. Leaving Ripple wasn't an easy decision, but it is the right one for me. To my fellow Ripplers, I wish you unbridled success. As for what's next? I'll talk about it when it's time, but I am not joining another blockchain project slash company, nor am I doing NFTs or DeFi. Now on to, Siddledoc begun testing Cardano's initial token, ADA, for its telemedicine payment module, the company said on Twitter. As shown on the screenshot, Cardano's ADA testing network successfully processed 10,000 ADA. The transaction cost 0.0017%. Siddledoc representatives called this milestone emotional because crypto integration is crucial for the company's accessibility to future and existing clients. The HELP2 Health project proposal to merge Cardano's native token, ADA, and first stablecoin asset, DJED, is one of the most popular on Cardano's community-driven incubator project Catalyst. Siddledoc said $1 million in ADA tokens will promote crypto usage in telemedicine. Siddledoc serves over 100,000 e-health, telemedicine, and pharmaceutical clients and is a leader in LATAM's healthcare sector. Now on to, a quick summary on Chainlink's accumulation for the past few months. Chainlink's shark and whale addresses, 10k, 1m $1K, have been collecting during the 2022 week market. These locations added 47.31 m link since March 3rd. This adds $312.7 million. In an article posted by the Bitcoinist on Metaverse Casino requested to stop by us states. Texas State Securities Board Director Joe Rotunda in light of his decision to immediately suspend Slody's selling of NFTs. Slody is a virtual casino that uses the metaverse, a digital realm that enables purchasing, play, and now gambling. The virtual gaming facility subject to the emergency cease and desist order began operations in October and sold 10,000 NFTs. Law enforcement authorities believe virtual casino proprietors are trying to recruit investors for unlawful metaversal gaming. Slody hasn't given NFT buyers critical information like a corporate address, phone number, or email address. It didn't tell authorities about its assets, obligations, income, and other finances. Slody has been forbidden from selling its NFTs by the securities board directors of the four U.S. states. The virtual casino has 31 days to challenge the halt orders. On to Doge Holdings. Dogecoin, Doge, has been in a prolonged downtrend, casting doubt on its ability to reclaim 2021 highs. 
Dogecoin has 4,454,487 holdings on October 22, up from 4,365,551 on July 24. The 10th ranked cryptocurrency by market size attracted 88,936 holders in three months, according to CoinMarketCap. Dogecoin pricing hasn't mirrored holder activity. By press time, the asset was trading at $0.059, down 16% in three months. Doge's price mismatch with holder increase may be ascribed to the notion that the mean coin's value would rise. The continual stockpiling of Doge by Wales and associated network activity tries to offer the token additional usefulness. That will conclude today's update on trending news in the crypto world. Remember, the social media platforms will be up and running next week. With the last channel being deleted we must now start over. Don't forget we have a $50 giveaway for when we hit 200 subs and followers on all social platforms. We also raised the giveaway for 1000 subs on YouTube to a $200 giveaway. Don't miss out, all you have to do is like, follow, subscribe and tag as many people as you can. We will be watching who tags who and keeping tabs on which one of those tags actually followed and subscribed. I repeat, this is not a random drawing. Anyone can compute the giveaways themselves. Good day, good night, and goodbye.